Hello, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's story, I'm going to show you how to make an attendance register or attendance sheet using Excel. This is basically automated. So you can see the tools are present and absent. So everything over here, you're going to see the percentage and you're going to see the tools are absent and everything. I'm going to walk you through how to do everything with no steps key. So stay tuned for this. Now, in order to do this, we first need to create a new worksheet. So I'm going to do this on a complete worksheet. And the first thing I'm going to do, I just want to highlight the entire worksheet and then just open my source. Okay, so now first of all, we need four columns. We need the number, name, criteria, and then the status. Okay, so let's just go ahead and then do that. Okay, so I have my criteria, I have my status, I have my name. So now what we want to do next is actually to get the names we want to use and then the numbers. Okay, so actually I want to get just about six students. So I can just type one, two. I don't need to repeat the entire process. I can just grab the two and then just select it. So let's say one just six students for this project. And that is all I want to do to do and then the names to I'm just gonna get some random names and I'm gonna use that okay so we are done with the names and then the numbers now for the criteria what we need to do is to bring this our check boxes okay so these are check boxes and i'm going to show you how to do that now in order to do or bring your check boxes you need to have your developer option and uh, you can see over here at the menu at the top i have the developer option so if you don't have that in order to do this just go to file and then go to options down here click on options and it's going to open this new dialog box for you you go to custom ribbon click on that and you will be able to see developer option from the list select that and click on add i've already added now so you can see more right here when you do that just click on ok and it's going to be part of your menu or tabs at the top over here now we want to insert our checkbox so go to developer and then on developer we'll go to insert and we want to use this so this is the checkbox we want to use select that and then just drag this here okay so what you want to do is that you can actually edit the text we don't want to have the text over there so i just want to actually delete the text okay so we have our text box right here you can see i can check this we need it for the rest of our students so i can just go ahead and then just drag this down and you can see we have this right here now we want to do something once we check this text box then we should see the status displayed over here so in order to do this what i'm going to do is to right click on this just right click and then go to form format control so when you select this format control over here then check option go to the select link click over there and then this man we're going to select the status part and then click on ok we're actually going to repeat the entire process for the rest so just go to format control select this and then make sure you select the corresponding status we we'll do that for all we we'll do that for all form control select this and then select the respective status and then i'm actually going to do that for the next one And that be it so now if i click on this if i click on the criteria you can see automatically it will change to true if i uncheck it to go to false okay so that is basically what we want to do now okay so now what i want to do is let's first highlight everything let's highlight everything and let's try to actually give a border to this okay so let's first give a border let's give border all and actually want to just select the top over here let me just zoom in on what exactly i'm doing let me zoom in here and what I want to do is to basically center in the middle, align this. And also, I'm going to highlight it with some color. Just give some color to the background. Okay, so I just want to give some color. And then also, I want to put in this. And then the rest of the text over here as well. I want to center align everything. Center in the middle, align. 
for everything I have over here. Now let's just give some heading. So I'll select everything and then over here under the home button, just go to merge center. Let's merge here and then just put attendance register. Okay, so now what I'm going to do next is I just want to actually highlight this and then let me just increase this. I just want to increase this and then let me also center align this and also the background. I'm just going to give some background highlighting to this so you can actually bolden this as well. If you want to change the color, you can actually go ahead and then just change the color. I prefer to use white for this. Now we almost set for the next stage. So now what we want to do is to actually get our result calculated over we need the total we need the present and then we need the absent as well so without we need three additional source over here so let's get a total we get a present and then absent okay so we need this in order to move to the next stage okay Okay, so we want to so we want to actually get a total here we want to get the percentage score as well so i'm actually going to make this so I'm just going to use the option there and then make this source and also i'm also going to apply the border to these options as well i'm also going to apply the border all now we want to actually go ahead and get a total over here and get a Present and absent. In order to get the total, we're going to use the count all. So we're going to say count. So count A. So we're going to select this entire values over here. And then hit enter. So you can see we are getting six for this particular column. Now, how do we get the absent? Okay. How do we get the people absent and how do we get the people present? Okay. So we have the present over here and then we have the absent as well so now to do this what we're going to do is we're going to use a formula called the count if to get the present okay so i will just want to highlight this and first of all bolden this and we're going to use count if so count if and we need two values we need the range and then we need a criteria so how are we going to do that so we're going to select this column and we bring a comma and what's going to be the criteria we want to be true we're going to select true so when a person is present that should be true okay at the moment you are seeing zero you are seeing zero because i have not checked any true for now so if i check something it's true you can see this is going to change to one let's try and center line this as well so now how do we get the absent so basically it's going to be the total money is a present that will give us the absent so we're going to say equal to so this is going to be this minus this so that is it so you can see everything over here is now set if i do it and click on one you can see this is going to be updated accordingly now how do you get the percentage let's first type 100 percent here okay so we type 100 percent here now we want to actually get a percentage of people present and a percentage of people absent okay so in order to get this value what we're going to do is we come here and this is actually going to be equal to this that is a present divided by the total and this should give you the percentage okay we are getting 0.33 we just have to convert this into percentage so under the home tab we just go under the number and click on the percentage sign so it's actually giving us 33 percent at the moment i'll highlight the center align this and then we are now going to get the absent so that's basically going to be the total minus what the present that would be the absent so this is also going to be equal to this minus this then we are good to go so you can see everything now is actually set so if you want to just select any other one let's say abraham is present well, once i do that you can see automatically it's going to update this so now we have six present and then what 
we have three present and three absent so we're going to be 50 50. let me just highlight everything go back here and then center align everything so you can see everything is now fully automated everything is now fully automated so if you can check automatically it's going to be calculating everything down here it's going to calculate everything for us so like subscribe for more videos like this because i have a lot of videos coming up in excel programming videos since a lot that you can mix anything it don't forget to come to my youtube channel for that subscribe turn on post notification for more power